Hello fellow creators, Badger Glue here with another tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro. What I really want to focus on in this episode is how to change clip sizes, how to animate movement, how to freeze frames, and how to slow down your clips and how to speed up your clips. Okay, so let's get to it. So I pulled in a video here. Uh, all you have to do to pull in a video is just double click in here and it will give you a list of your videos. Um, but I wanna pull in this one and I want it to be over here, but I wanna change the size of it and maybe add some overlays and things like that. So um, what I wanna note here is that this is called the source window and you can see the source in the videos that you import. So this pertains with this. This is actually our program window, and it is what will be the final result. Okay, so source, program, we're going to need both of those in order to do this. Okay, so say I want to pull just a little snippet of this video into my other video. What I want to do is I want to pick where I want to start and hit this mark in button. So it'll mark where I want it to start, and say I'll go over here and I mark where I want it to end. Just like that. So now I got a little bit of a window here. And then all I have to do is click this, drag it over to create the sequence. Now notice it only took the snippet of what I wanted. So let's preview this. Perfect. All right. So we got that. Now say I want to change the size of this person right here, which is me, actually. I'm this person. I want to change the size of this. There are actually two ways to do that. Um, and both have their advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so the first way is we want to double click on this. All right, so we double click on this, um, and then we go up over here. There's a little wind, a little slide bar. It's difficult to see, but we slide it over. We go to effect controls. So effect controls, and then we see it says motion. We want motion, the arrow to point down so that it opens up. And then we can change the scale. Okay, so we can move that scale. Say I want it 50%. Say I want it 150. I can change it like that. It's really that simple. Say you want to bring it back to its original source size. Now, obviously, you could put that at 100, or you could pick this. It's resetting the parameter. This is good because if you do slide it out of position, and you have no idea where that center is and you want it back in the center but you have no idea how to do that all you have to do is come up here and hit reset parameter and it will put it right on the center and you can adjust it from there all right so the second way to do that which I prefer a little bit better than messing with all these numbers is to actually double click in your program window and you'll get these arrows okay so you can move it accordingly click and drag open it up, put it wherever you want. So that is really nice, okay? Uh, I'm gonna reset the position here so I'm at the center and then I can click and drag it and make it bigger and zoom into my eyeball and then I can preview it. Just like that, that's good. All right, so say now that I want, that I have my face in here, I want to actually add something, an overlay, and then animate its movement. So I'll show you what I mean here, but I'm going to uh, import some stuff here. I'm going to go to my pictures, go to my raw images. Um, I want this Dark Souls uh, Knight of Katarina to be dancing right up here. So I'm going to put him in there. Now this is video one, this is video two. So notice now that's an overlay. Now the picture that I chose actually had a transparent background that makes it really nice to do this. Okay, so I want him dancing right here in the corner. So I'm going to double click him. I'm going to put him right there. Now he's not actually going to be dancing, but I'm just going to show you this and how to animate his movement. Um, so okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. We'll make it the same size. All right. so. Movement is really interesting in Adobe Premiere Pro, and it's not that difficult to learn. You just have to follow the steps here. All right. So what I want to do is I want to start him off right here. So notice there's a thing here that I can drag. This is where in the main video um, this picture is. So I want to start here right at the beginning. Uh, I'm going to go over here to this thing called toggle animation. That will put 
something called a keyframe right here. Now what Adobe Premiere Pro does is it takes a keyframe and it knows that at that position, at that exa exact instant in time, it has to have these parameters at that keyframe. Okay, so that's what this is about. So I'm gonna t toggle all of these on. I'm not gonna worry about anchor point or anti-flicker filter. We don't need that right now. But permission scale and rotation, I wanna make that go right there. Okay, so what that's telling Adobe Premiere Pro is that at this instant, at the beginning, I want him to stay right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go off the beaten path here, go a little bit further. I'm gonna change his position and I'm gonna change his I'm not going to change his scale, I'm going to keep that the same. I'm going to change his rotation. So what you can do is you can do this two ways. You can adjust the parameter sizes right now, or you can click him and drag him. Now notice there's an arrow. There's a little line. That is where he's going to go to at the end of when it gets to this keyframe. So just a test. I just want to show you how this works here. So now we watch. Perfect, so he passes me up. All right, so if you ever want to delete a keyframe, all you have to do is highlight it, hit delete. It's really that simple. Okay, so I want this dude to dance. Uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna move him over a little bit here. And then at that same point, I'm going to have him rotate, say 21 degrees. Perfect, I'm gonna control C these. That's gonna copy those. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that. I don't need that yet. I might need that in a second, but I'm going to go off a little bit more here. And then I'm going to move him back to where he was and a little bit further, actually. I'm going to move him right over here. I'm going to click this and make that a negative 21 now. So he's going to dance back and forth. Let's see what it looks like. Interesting. That's not the best dance ever, but it kind of works. What if I want it to be faster? Well, you can click these, highlight them, drag them in to almost touching. How about that? We'll see what happens. It's a lot faster now. Okay. So now what you could do if you wanted to is copy this, Control C. Drag it over here. I'm gonna copy that. Put him right touching. Let's see what happens. Perfect. That is how you animate movement. Now at keyframes, um, you can do a lot of different things. So say I want him to instantly double in size or triple in size, and I want him to come right in my face and actually replace my face right there. So say he's interrupting my selfie moment here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, all I want to worry about now is scale and maybe a little bit of position here. So what I'm going to do here is come over to scale. Now this is called add or remove keyframe. So I want to add a keyframe right here and then instantly just slide over a little bit instantly. I want to write another keyframe and double his size and also move him right where I am. All right, let's see what happens here. And boom, there we go. Interesting. All right, so now that we've replaced me with the Knight of Katarina, we got it. The next tutorial is how to create a freeze frame. So say I'm going along here and I think of something that I want to say, I want to do some voiceover, but I want my face to just freeze. All right, so there's a couple ways you can do this, but this is my preferred method. So we come over here, uh, we're going to hit this razor tool. Now what that does is it cuts a, f cuts a piece of video wherever your marker is. So I'm going to cut that right there. All right. So now I could actually slide this over and it just cuts that. Okay, I'm going to put it back there for a minute. So say I want to freeze frame right here, right where my face is. I'm going to come over here, hit export frame, and then 
it's going to export it into some spot. You can choose where you want to put that, but I want to make sure that I hit this import into project and I'm just going to hit OK. So now it'll import that picture into my project. So um, then I click and drag this over, take my picture over here, click and put that right there. Okay. And then I can make that as big as I want. Whoops, that was bad. Control Z, Control Z. Uh, make that as big as I want to, make it however I want to do it, and then I uh, replace it. So now I have a, a nice freeze framed there. Um, you can do a voiceover if you want. I'm not going to show you how to do a voiceover in this video. If you do want a voiceover video, let me know. Uh, I can probably make one. Okay, so that is how you do freeze frames. Another thing that's really, really easy on Adobe Premiere Pro is how to slow down your videos and how to speed up your videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this right in half and I'm going to do a slow motion here and a, uh, I guess, fast motion right there just to show you guys how to do that. All right. So what I want to do is click this video. It's really simple, guys. Right click, go up to speed and duration and change it. So I said I was going to slow motion. I'm going to slow it by 50%. All right. So you can also, there's some other options here. You can reverse the speed, you can maintain audio pitch, you can ripple edit. Uh, I prefer not to maintain the audio pitch because it makes it hilarious. Okay. Listen to this. <laughs> nice. All right, and then we can come over here and we can right click. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Right click, speed duration, and I can change this to 300%. Something like that. Make it really fast so it goes from slow motion to fast motion. Let's see. Nice. Okay. That is really, really, really easy. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I really hope that this video helped out a lot of creators out there. Um, YouTube really is one of my biggest hobbies and making these videos is really fun. I love editing. So if you have any other questions uh, about how to do certain things, let me know and maybe I can help you out. If I don't know um, what you're looking for, then it might be difficult. So kind of link me with uh, things that you want to see done and I can help you out with that. Also check out some of my other tutorial videos. I show you how to make uh, some overlays and how to um, add interesting webcams to your video game stuff. Uh, yeah, so just let me know and we'll see you guys later.